Hi. Well, welcome. We're at the celery fields here in Sarasota, Florida. This is one of the highest elevations, if not the highest elevation. It's one of the highest. Yeah, in Sarasota. It's the second highest in, in Florida. Florida. In Florida. So anyways, it's got a spectacular view. You can see the sun's going to be going down behind us. This is a sunset broadcast for the Live with Nature Foundation. And I have here this evening with me my uh, granddaughter. I love her so dearly. Hi. <laughs> and she's here. And we're going to be talking about how children are being affected by the coronavirus and how that's making an impact in their life. It's going to be exciting and I want you to right now be ready to go ahead, start working on getting some questions together. We'll go back. You can ask Harmony directly questions that you think would be appropriate because as, as adults and as parents or grandparents, what we want to do is learn how our kids are feeling about this stuff so that we can give them the support that they need to get through this most difficult situation that we are experiencing right now. Hello, Rachel. We have lots Sorry, of people, Manny. Uh, thank you, Rachel Johnson, uh, Kimberly Cohen Davis. Thank you so very much. A bunch of people, we appreciate you. If you'll do me this favor as well, so that I can get a determination on who's watching live and who's watching on the replay. Christina Scullin and Shirley Connolly, welcome. Put hashtag live if you're watching live, and put the hashtag. Uh, Dang, 12 years already. Replay. That's if you're watching on the replay because this helps me determine whether people are catching on the replay and whether they're catching it live and it'll help me to be able to tailor timing wise so it, it gives me some assistance and work on questions ask Harmony now Harmony yes, I really appreciate you. you taking time to come and join us and talk this evening about the coronavirus and how this is affecting you because we kind of talked about it earlier and it really made me think you know it's important what you think and so I want you to share with us, okay? I'm doing great today, Manny. That's awesome. So let's start with your thoughts on how you feel about how you have been affected I, by, the, by the virus, the coronavirus. I so. just feel like it's kind of a pain because of the fact that we'll have to go through the process. Now we have to go through the process of doing online school and everything instead of being able to actually physically go to school and see our friends. We have to talk through a screen. And um, I also feel like it's kind of just causes a lot of like anxiety and boredom just because we have to mostly stay in the house and not go into really crowded areas. Now that we were talking about that, so one of my questions asked you was about, you know, you're not going to be able to necessarily get around all of your friends anymore. Mm -hmm. And so, you, you know, we're, uh, and I can't think of that other term that they can, uh, came up with, but we are uh, about... Um, self-isolation and distancing, uh, social distancing. Mm -hmm. Now, so you're not going to be able to talk to your friends, so you're going to use technology, right, mm -hmm. to, to be able to speak? Like, I do still hang out with my friends, even with the coronavirus. Yes, we make sure we are completely bacteria bacteria free by the time we get home like we'll shower sanitize our entire bodies like okay. grab that Lysol and just spray ourselves <laughs> with it grab the Lysol okay there's there's a piece of advice now and, and while we're talking about that I just want to put this out because you know what I found what I'm trying to do is this when we do go out into public and we're touching things like keypads to use our, our card to pay for things or the door handles and stuff after you're done with that we'll keep your hands away from your face when you're doing that or like just then, touching, after you're all done sorry. and you're getting back in your car, then sanitize your hands. Or if you touch anything at all, really, unless, like, it's a plant, a plant should be okay. Like, I'm messing, like, with this little plant right here that has thorns on it, but it doesn't hurt the thorns, but it's, like, just really fun to mess with. But, like, if you're touching anything that someone else could have potentially touched, just sanitize. Now, Harmony, you said that you're going to be feeling lonely. How are you going to deal with that loneliness? Honestly, just call my friends, see if we can hang out as much as possible without, you know, like, with but, staying at least six feet apart, or like just talking to them on the phone. Like, it's, it does mean using a lot more technology than usual. Even going to school is going to be through technology for the rest of the year because right. of it. And that's what I wanted to talk about. Here, here in Florida and Sarasota specifically, now I haven't seen exactly how they're going to do that. Now I know that, you know, education's been online for a very long time. Certainly, even the school, the high school has... The e hangout <laughs> yes. e hangout there you go. And so, um, we haven't heard specific information on how they're going to deal with it, but I think that what they're going to do is to 
what have a teacher speaking uh, do you know any idea of how they're going to deal with I'm that? pretty sure they're just going to use like a google program where we can all be in a group chat together but I feel like kids are definitely going to take advantage of that because yes the teacher can mute them but they're not going to mute them automatically because then like yes they can't unmute them if the kid has a question but like their do if their daughter do I mean uh, if the teacher doesn't see this like that their hands raised and they could just ignore it if the kid has a question they don't want to mute them unless they're misbehaving but i feel like kids will like take advantage of being at home and like either not pay attention or just like troll in the chat where j they'll just be like messing around the entire time and i feel like since they're at home they will feel like they have n the teachers have no control over what they do mm, okay. so they might just like not even pay attention well she brought that up earlier when we were talking about it she was saying how uh, some of the kids aren't going to be paying attention. They're all going to be talking and I was saying like I use zoom a lot for conferencing Welcome, Melissa. There's a lot of other people. I'll just hit you right now and Someone Crundwell, said your thank you all the way. precious. Thank you. <laughs> I know I am. Chris Windham. Thank you as well and Joseph uh, Angelina. I try, I try very Carolyn, hard to be as Sandy, precious as possible. Mary Tritcher and Tina Rusk um, Dallas Ooh, Shepard, thank you. 24 live views, that's, that's awesome. more than I've ever gotten. Okay, and Shirley <laughs> Connolly as well, Christina Scullin. Okay, we thank everybody. I was asking you to put in hashtag live if you're watching live and hashtag replay if you're watching the replay so that we can determine when you're watching this and this will help me as well in some statistics and analytics and trying to do the best thing I can for you. But we were talking how I use Zoom and you can mute the people because you know I think maybe maybe do you think that teachers might like it because they don't have a classroom full of kids that are carrying on and they're trying to get the classroom under control yeah but at the same time they're gonna be kind of frustrated because when kids are at home like I've had friends that have done online school before and they even admit they don't pay attention because they know they don't have to the teacher can't stop them from, well like like if you're in a classroom and you're like not paying attention or like sleeping while the teacher's teaching, the teacher can just walk over and be like, wake up, but like. So I see Sandy says e-hangout. Now I don't even know what yeah, e-hangout means. Why don't you it tell means us what hang e out through the virtu It means hanging out through like a video call or something. Uh, okay. Or like just playing video games together, like <laughs> hanging out, but like not in person. Now I want to mention, Manny mentioned here uh, that he heard that the average person touches their face about 3,000 3, times a day. And that's important that we don't forget that, right? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, we can touch other things and the next thing we know we touch our face. And this is where we've got to be a little bit more cognizant. So what, what kind of steps are you taking personally to protect yourself from being exposed? I know you touched on some of it earlier, but tell us specifically what hand you're doing. Hand sanitizer, lots of hand sanitizer. Like I used an entire bottle of hand sanitizer in one day, like one of those little um, Bath and Body Works bottles. I'm sadly out of my own hand sanitizer, so I have to use the disgusting scented stuff until I can get to a Bath and Body Works. But um, also, I have this like cute face mask. You know how like doctors are wearing masks when they go out in public. Like right. a lot of the time, I will wear my like face mask because I have one, but it's a fabric one that has like a little anime face on it. They do. They've got like a smiley face, or they make. Yeah, it has like a kawaii face, like the tongue right, sticking right. out. So Panda now, face. now you say you're using more sanitizer than you've ever used in your yeah. life. So now, what happens about the supply on something like that? What are you thinking? What's going to happen there? It will deplete until the only way to get it is if you want to spend like three hundred dollars per bottle. Well, that would but be price gouging. But a lot of people just are buying the normal stuff. They're not going to Bath and Body Works and buying the scented stuff, which works just as well. Yes, it's two dollars per bottle. That's like this big. But is it worth it? Yes, your hands smell great. Your your hands get glittery and no bacteria. <laughs> well, that's what we're trying to do. And you know, this is so awesome. Uh, that we have the technology like this and I, I'm just so grateful that everybody's coming to watch this video because I thought that it was important mm -hmm. to talk with someone that's younger mm -hmm. and give their feedback. Now Christina says that she's homeschooled her kids and did very well and it's, it's different though. So a lot of people are going through that. Are you excited about at all about being homeschooled uh, so to say through technology not really because like i like being able to go to school because it's a way to get out of my house like just being in that like yes i can admit i love playing video games and i love sitting down on my phone on roblox all day but at the same time i can't i could never really like 
I just don't like sitting at home and doing that 24 7 other than school like school yeah but that's like four hours hours of the day because they're not going to do our elective classes and like so oh we just so have it's our only core. the core subject yeah okay so like it's like four hours of the day and the rest of the day what do I have to do other than video games nothing and that doesn't sound very fun to me because eventually I get bored of the video games and actually want to do something productive with my life well, you do yeah. So that means you're going to pay like, attention then when they're talking and you're yeah. learning to the computer. That, see, that's excellent. That's good news, right? <laughs> um, I feel like there's pluses and minuses to being te having online classes. Pluses, it's only four hours of your day. Okay. M downsides, it's um like kind of sucks because they're going to end up making us take online classes again in our senior year to make up for the elective credits we lost because we couldn't have our elective classes. Now... Do we have any idea, timing-wise, when they're going to start doing this? Either March 30th or April 30th. Je All okay. I know is it's the 30th of, 30th of a month. So you're going to, no matter what, be pushed out timing-wise by probably three, maybe four weeks. Uh, I might end up having to take summer classes for electives. Summer classes During my for last electives. year, for okay. senior year. What's your hope for... Uh, people with respect to the virus. I mean, what, what are you thinking is the long-term effects going to be? I just feel like the long-term effects will be we get used to being on online school for first of all, because like, you know, we'd end up having to go back to our normal school routine next year, maybe, if the virus is, you know, improved. Sorry, my hair's a mess, so I'm trying to fix it. <laughs> There's a little bit um, of wind, and if it, the wind is killing this audio, we apologize for that, but we figured it was more natural just to go without the headphones and just it's straight natural. But, like, I also think a lot of people will end up dying from this, which okay. kind of sucks. I feel bad for those people. All right. And, like, I I feel like it might affect our, our perspective on future sicknesses to panic. But what I, my, my saying for it is alert, not anxious. Be alert and don't, like, be terrified of the virus. Just be alert. That's excellent. Now, um, what are you going to do to try and help other people. Do you think you need to help other people or what's your feeling there? I feel like there's not really much that we can, oh geez, insects, sorry. Um, <laughs> I don't really feel like there's much us kids can do because like the price of masks right now, if we wanted to like, like cause hospitals, they can't go like to like construction workers for masks because they use a lot of the masks that they're trying to use right now and they can sell them. But like a lot of us kids don't have 750 for a per mask to right. buy a bunch of masks. Well, now this is where it pays off that you already had those three or four masks that you can mm -hmm. just wash and then you can mm -hmm. reuse them again. But like, I feel like we kind of can help by sanitizing and keeping ourselves clean and trying to keep the six, to, six feet rule. Right. And like just trying to stay as, um, as isolated as possible. For us kids, that's a lot harder though because like we don't really like being locked up in the house. Some of us, yeah. Like my boyfriend, he can. Ad he's like, I like that lifestyle where I can just sit on video games all day. But I'm like, no, I like being out here. Like after um, this chat's done and uh, it gets handed over to just my grandpa, I'm gonna run around and go see the nature mm -hmm. because like it's really nice out and I just kind of want to run around a bit. It is. It is beautiful out here in the, the celery fields today, and amazingly, and I'll just give you a quick pan here so that you can all see this, but just down the hill here, this is where we came from. We came up from here and there's people parked in the street. Clearly, a lot of people decided to go on out and be out in nature. And, and I think that that's one thing certainly left that we can do is to get out into nature and have some fun and then we can still keep that distance and not have to worry about contracting the, 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 the virus. Yeah, but I'm really sad because they closed the beaches and that's like one of the most fun things that we could do left while uh, while everything else is closed was just hang out at the beach, but they had to go and close them. Fortunately, Brand Bradenton beaches are still open. Only Sarasota and Manatee have closed oh, their beaches. Oh, they didn't close the beaches. That's in Manatee County, which is just north of us here. Manatee and Sarasota, maybe Bradenton did, but Venice beaches are still open and all and all that. And I might actually try and get Gramity and I to go to Venice Beach because they have a lot of shark teeth there, so. They do, that's called Shark Tooth Beach, actually, down mm -hmm. there. Venice is a few miles south of us. And I think that this is gonna give me an opportunity that I've really been wanting to do is just to spend time with my granddaughter, get more time with her, uh, quality time. She loves nature. Um, you know, Especially I, when it's like nice temperature out like this. 
Hey, tell me. When it's like Beautiful. 90 degrees, okay. <laughs> if I'm wearing shorts and a tank top, I guess it's survivable, but it's still hot and miserable. But like, when it's like nice weather out like this, it's amazing. Like, I still like going out in the nature even when it's like 95 degrees out, but it's just harder. <laughs> I want to say hi to Ruth Strum. Ruth remembers my granddaughter. She was right there when she was just a little bitty thing. And uh, welcome, Ruth. And we've had a lot of people coming on in. We really appreciate you. I've seen some recipes for homemade hand sanitizer. That's going to be really important. Go back, look at that comment, write those ingredients down because yeah it's gonna maybe get more expensive to buy that sanitizer as well as if you can make it from home it's going to be a lot cheaper you can save some money these days we're going to need to save our money because we don't know some of us may have already lost our jobs how do you feel about that how many people losing their jobs over this i feel bad about it because like the economy is kind of going to tank most likely from the economy is going to tank yeah it's going to suffer yeah well it, it, it is going to it is going to suffer there's going to be some offsets and don't you think that this might be a time that we could just think outside the box, though, and maybe get a little bit more creative? I don't know, sure. Like, and it's, since it's almost summer, I'm going to see if I can get my mom to buy one of those, like, if, um, like one of those metal pools mm -hmm. that you can set up so we can actually swim with the coronavirus. Just be like, coronavirus can't swim get us down. Swim with the coronavirus. Why would like, you say that? I mean, with the coronavirus going around, okay. like, we can swim at home since, like, a bunch of public pools are closed and all. They are. They closed the public pool out on Lido Beach, as a matter of fact. The beaches are closed down. The restaurants are closed down just for delivery. Yeah. You, you know, can't, our, no restaurant you can eat inside so, right now. You have to either get it delivered or go through the drive-thru. Are you excited or are you scared about the future? I'm not really scared or excited. I'm like kind of just like, I feel bad for people that are getting it, but I don't, like, I'm not necessarily scared of me getting it. Like, if I get it, I have a high chance of surviving. Like, I, like, a very high chance of surviving. As long as, that, like, other people around me don't get sick. Mm -hmm. So, don't you think it's really important now to start thinking about taking care of our health and, and yeah. maybe some exercise and, and taking the vitamins and stuff? That's kind of why I want my mom to get the pool thing so I can swim around. Because, like, that's the type of exercise I like is swimming. Like, I love yes. to swim. Now, I was on swim team for a whole year at Girls Inc. And then they canceled the swim team thing, which sucked. Because why? I don't, because they, it cost them too much money, apparently. It cost okay. them, it was like a hundred bucks and for everyone. I just total. have to say, Girls Inc., that's a, I don't know, is that internet, is that national? Um, or just locally, regional? Here? I think it's national. Yeah, it's really awesome. I know that Harmony went to Girls Inc. and that was a great place and they do a lot of stuff. It was a great stuff. place, but apparently it's gone downhill. Like, pretty much, mm. I, like, a bunch of people are starting to hate it because apparently, like, 95% of the girls there, people are being super homophobic about it because, like, 90, 95% of the girls there are either lesbian or they cut themselves. So, so I want to say this yeah. right now so that everybody knows, okay? But, like, Girls Inc. doesn't necessarily Not help about them enough. Girls Inc. I know. Okay, I thought it was pretty good. There, there was, there's it always was good when and bad. I, it was when I went there, but then it started okay. like a bunch of like negative Nancy's well, went there. Well, there's no and such thing as that down. happening right now. Obviously, that, yeah. that that's making a change now. I want to mention Richard Fay here. He is our artistic champion. We appreciate you all the way from the UK. We've got people in the UK watching. We've got people in Australia watching. All in America, in Canada, it's so awesome. We love you for that. Remember to share this video out too, so that that others can hear this message straight from a 14-year-old person that's that's having to almost. 15. Almost 15 that's experiencing this. And I want to say, yes, your name's Harmony, Richard. It's spelled with an I, though. I've seen like eight people spell it with a Y, and I'm just so over here like, that's now fine. You know. Everyone was spelling it with a Y. I just keep seeing that. I'm just like, that's this is normal. fine. This is fine. Well, that's more common. So, yeah, it's spelled Harmony with an I. Let's just get it changed with a Y. Why would you change your name? I wouldn't change it away from that. I'd just keep it Harmony, but change oh, okay. it to a Y so people can spell it easier <laughs> it without still being means like, the same what? Thing. <laughs> so, I see a lot of great information from the viewers. We're putting out information because that's what it is. This is an opportunity for us to come together. It might Bad be bugs. social distancing. 
it doesn't have to be social distancing from the standpoint of using technology to reach out and support and love each other because that's what it's all about. I want you to talk about I want you to talk about Live with Nature and what you think about that and, and how you enjoy doing that message and, and, and taking time. What do you think about this Live with Nature Foundation stuff? I think on? it's pretty cool that like because a lot of people are like, okay, Boomer, you can't do anything. <laughs> well, that's and me I'm on the end. What, 61, hat. so. <laughs> yeah, my raise hat. Okay, with forget all the, the baseball game. With all There's the no more okay, baseball. Boomer stuff. Like, it's, <laughs> or football. Um, or, I find it really nice yeah, that you're like completely proving kids that are all like, wait, your grandpa well, is doing a foundation thing and a nonprofit? He's such a Boomer, he can't do that. Is like what a couple kids have so said wild. about this. And I'm like... I love that you're proving them wrong. Okay, so they think that I'm, it's not capable of doing that. So so I'm just over here like, boy, my grandpa can do anything that he puts his mind to. Down well, him you here. know, and this isn't to push the foundation, but what it is about is it about helping people. That's what it's all about. It's about sharing our love and with others and sharing the connection to nature and the connection to source and having the opportunity to let these young people know, even though they think, oh, you're old, you don't know anything, right? You know, mm -hmm. I won't use the word, you know, the S word, you're stupid, right? I said I wouldn't do it. Okay, I did. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I remember when I was young, I thought that the older folks didn't know anything either. But as you get older, you recognize that you can actually make a difference. It doesn't matter how old you are. As long as you make a difference, you feel that you were built to serve as well and to serve other people. I think, mm -hmm. I think you were. Mm -hmm. I think she is most certainly part of helping us reach Plants. out, get that message to uh, the younger generation because we care about you. If you're younger and you're watching this message, let just know. There was a breeding pile of bugs you. flying around us. Harmony doesn't when, like insects. When there is a swarm of gnats, they are having a huge breeding pile. Okay, you told me it's that the disgusting. other day. It's disgusting. And they're like, yeah. Well, they have to procreate. Too, right? uh, I don't like that word. Good. <laughs> <laughs> That's excellent. So, yeah, uh, I will get a landscape shot behind it. Uh, Absolutely, it is a beautiful uh, sunset. I uh, I don't know what I did with my other phone, I'm so I can't do that go right now. So I have to do that right after we're done here. So I don't know if I'm gonna get it because the sunset is coming. <laughs> Spectacular sunsets here in Sarasota, Florida, and you just can't beat the view. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I know that you're except getting on the anxious. beach, you can you can beat it on you can beat that view on the beach. <laughs> you're getting anxious to go. Um, let me just see. Run. Did you, I want to see if there was quest, questions uh, for Harmony and read some of these comments. And let's just read through these comments and then okay. I'll let you go play. You want to scroll through it? You want to do that? Yeah. Show us how it's done, Harmony. You, 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 you talk about whatever and mention any comments you want to mention. Love you both. You, uh, grammar. Uh, I can't grammar. You, Harmony. Will be helping us all in time keep strong. That's right. And that's exactly the truth, right? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Keep on. Okay. okay, you're scrolling. Um, you're doing this. What are you worried okay. about? Okay, I thought I thought my phone disappeared. It's in my back pocket. I completely forgot because I have Bluetooth earbuds around my neck. So Dave Childers, welcome. Rachel Johnson, Christina Skull, and Joy. <laughs> I'm <a> boomer too. <laughs> <laughs> no, Christina's a boomer. <laughs> the, I read. Boomer. I was reading the oh, comment out. <laughs> well, since we're talking about yeah. that now, what do you call your generation? Zoomers. <laughs> They're Zoomers. I guess. Yeah, we're Zoomers. And Generation Z, right? Is yeah, that it? Zoomers. Z? Okay. My teacher also calls us Zoomers. It's like, you pathetic Zoomers, get off your phones! I like that comment from Richard Fay. I've got many more years. i got many more years in the tank. I've I'm been gonna reading be it throughout. But okay. you, you, you read the comments. This is your show now for a moment. Oh, yeet! What? <laughs> Think about the nature that we will all see within a few days of the countries that have locked down, have seen an influx of great nature that would normally be hiding due to us humans. That's right. That's, That's another, Yes. I want you to also tell us about the sunset because I really want to start doing more sunset broadcasts and uh, bringing you the evening 
too. So we'll mix it up a little bit. And I'm really looking forward to see there are benefits to the situation. How are you going keeping on. calm at this time? Uh, honestly, just trying to hang out with my friends as much as possible while still being safe and keeping a safe distance. <laughs> well, like, so I don't, you know, completely lose my sanity mm -hmm. of being locked in at the house, which is. I know you you're know, working on the boring and things, but I'm so excited because we we're going to get to do more stuff together. Mm -hmm. Love your hair, Harmony. Thanks. Janice, welcome. I really gotta re-bleach it. I re-bleach it, then re-dye it because there's like blonde parts coming through and there's like two inches of root showing. So it's like, it's a mess. <laughs> My hair color is a mess. Um, I'm planning on either dyeing it this again, dyeing it blue, I mean dyeing it purple, dyeing it red or half red, half white for an anime character. <laughs> yeah, well, you like doing uh, cosplay. anime and the cosplay, I guess is another name for it. So mm -hmm. tell us about that because I know that that's something that the younger generation and some of us older folks too really enjoy doing. Tell us a little uh, bit about that. It's really just where you dress up as the anime character, sometimes acting character. You can film videos in it or you can just do it for fun. Go, you can like do it at home. You can go out in public in cosplay if you want to. It doesn't matter. It's all just for the fun of it. So you like acting? Mm hmm I am in theater, which sucks because we're gonna be theater. on online class, which means no theater. No theater. Sad. So it's gonna be a bit of an adjustment to some of the. They also canceled the here. school musical, and I had a tech role in that. Darn it! That would have been nice, but you know what? Now we just have to figure it out because I'm I sure they'll figure it out. I was gonna be in control of the lights and all, and it. Mm. Just think about that. That's a new opportunity to be able to try and pull off a, uh, a, an actual play. Uh, with just using technology. Mm -hmm. I think it's a great mm -hmm. idea. And you got all these people and you can just bring them all together mm -hmm. and somehow or another somebody come up with the program that lets everybody be them in their spot. Mm -hmm. Maybe green screens play a part, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Harmony, what would you say to the young people watching? What would you say? I'd say, hmm, keep on rocking and living your life, fellow Zoomers. <laughs> well, that's pretty good advice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's excellent advice. We appreciate Manny for asking that question. All right, it's the sun's going down behind us. You can see it behind Harmony here. I think I'll, I'll try and just do it so that we can get a little bit more of a, where is it? Right I want there. to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> oh. I want to be Todoroki, which is an anime character from Pocono <laughs> Hero Academia slash My Hero Academia. Watch it if you haven't. It's an amazing anime, and yes, Todoroki is edgy, and his character is hilarious. I want to address Janice's question. It's like we're all going to be showing roots over this after this is over, or before it's even over. We, I heard that the other just like yesterday from uh, Grant Cardone. <laughs> he came on live and he was talking about okay, who's going to have long hair here and isn't going to the uh, uh, hairdresser or I need you know the barber to get their hair cut. Like the back is so long. <coughs> Might be a time to grow a beard or something like that. Too. Like it's like Whatever. two inches in the back, and normally I have it shaved like almost like with like less than a millim with like a millimeter. Like is normally how long I have it, but I need it. I've needed to get it cut for like two weeks, and now everything's closed. I'm just gonna try and adjust this so that we get the beautiful go sunset. And she's out. Peace. Harmony's gone. There we go. So it's a beautiful, beautiful view behind me. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Harmony. We love you. I, that's so awesome. I am so pleased that you took time to come and join me this evening. I'm so glad and blessed that you all are here. Remember to share this video out, right? I'm just going to tell you what. I'm going to flip this camera around if I can. I can in a moment. And what I'll do is I'll... She's going for the water. Um, and I'm going to flip this camera around. Oh, apparently I forgot to turn my uh, my notifications off. So I'll turn the camera around, let the uh, front-facing camera watch this sunset. We'll watch this sunset if you want to stay with us. That's great. Remember to share this video out. Look for more of this. I'm going to use this uh, as an opportunity to learn, to grow, to, to connect more with my family. And we can still connect with our friends through the medium of using technology. And well, let's just make this work, you know. It's, it's going to be okay. There's going to be some changes we're going to have to make. But let's do this together and be there for each other and support each other with love and understanding and just do the best that we can to just make 
the best of our situation, right? So let me just go ahead. I'll turn this around because it is such a fan of the OS view out here. I want to say thank you to everybody again. Remember to go ahead and uh, I'm going to really seriously have to adjust this a bit um, to, to share this video out, right? Um, thank you, thank you. So I'll let this go. If you want to have comments or anything or just want to use this for an opportunity to just have a quiet time listening to these birds talking to us and uh, watch the sun go down, I tell you what, this is this opportunity. I always use this for repeating my affirmation statements and just, you know, let's say things like, you know, our children are going to be okay. Our children are going to be okay because we love and care about them. And I know that some of these kids are sick. I know that, that, that my close friends here, their children gotten sick let's just be there for them it is nice to see everybody Shirley and Carolyn and, and Manny and and Ruth Shrum I haven't seen you on one of my videos in a minute Ruth say, thank you so much um, and just so many people if I'm not mentioning your name Kimberly Davis thank you all of you I'm blessed so let's just watch the sunset now I'm gonna I suppose I'm just gonna leave it like that to be honest because that's not bad I don't need to flip the camera Otherwise, I'll have a major upset here. All right, so I'm just going to be quiet now. Watch the sunset. Thank you so very much. I'll come back in just a few moments here, and I'll have a final closing message for you.
nature den in there. I saw that. Huh? I saw that. Yeah. I can't see how deep it actually goes. Oh, it probably goes in there a ways. It goes like this deep and then curves. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what it might be. It's a pretty good sized animal. Cause it's a I kind of want to stick hole. my hand in there and see, but no, I don't want to lose that arm. Don't do that. I know. I want to, but I don't want to lose an arm. <laughs> what a and I don't want to disturb an animal. What a beautiful sunset, huh? Yeah, I got a bunch of pictures myself. That's awesome. Yeah, I forgot that you have the camera to take some pictures for Manny. So I'm just going to come back down here. Look. Oh my goodness, Harmony. Manny wants those pictures for the website. And look at this one. So, I just want to say thank you to everybody that's still here. Here's Harmony. She just came back. <laughs> what a great sunset. <laughs> I, I am just so blessed. I mean, I've been just sitting here taking this all in. Literally tears to my eyes, you know. Um, I walked around the water and got the pictures. I got some extra pictures with water in it. The first picture I got was that Those one. Are some great pictures, Harmony. I got this one first. Then a second one, a third one. Oh, gosh. I took some in landscape and then some in portrait. Mm -hmm. And then one of the water. That's just beautiful. Thank you. So I was just saying, you know, literally, and, and I'm being honest, tears in my eyes because I'm just so blessed. I'm so blessed with everybody that takes time to come and watch this. I'm, I'm blessed that I have my granddaughter in my life. Um, I'm blessed. Don't I cry, have. don't cry, don't cry. I'm trying not to. I'm don't blessed cry, that, that I have so many friends and so many supporters with, for the LWN Foundation. We just so much appreciate you. If you cry, I'm going to cry. <laughs> just stop, you're going to make me cry. It's it's beautiful. I hope that you've enjoyed this, this broadcast. We'll bring more of this. We will, because this is important. This is a great way that we can connect. We can connect to the nature. We can connect to each other. We can connect to... The community. There's a mosquito. And it's time now to connect to community more than ever. Mm -hmm. And I do believe that, in fact, this is, even though it might seem very, very Thank crazy. You, Caroline. Um, and it's mind boggling stuff that's going on right now. Um, is, is that I think it is a reset, it's a, a reboot, an opportunity to come closer together. And that's what we will do as a community. Um, the only downside about the coronavirus right now with the cure is, um, according to new um, news that I got, it has um, an ability where it changes its um, type. Like it changes its... Um, they the become resistant. Yeah. It, and then it um, rearrange its DNA, re can rearrange its DNA strands to cause it to be worse and more. Called it adaptation. Makes it a yeah, and it makes it a lot harder to. But it can do it whenever, like it, like it can just do it, and it makes it harder to cure when it can just change its mm -hmm. strain whenever it wants. The best cure, I think, honestly, is uh, make sure. And I know that there was some information, so go back and look at that. There's a hand sanitizer uh, they can make from home from your home stuff uh, home ingredients use that um, and, the hand and taking care of yourself you need to take probiotics you, you need to take a lot of vitamin C 4,000 milligrams a day for me and you also need to uh, use zinc and those things will really really help us mm -hmm. okay now we are adding products into our store uh, literally almost as I speak I did earlier today and Manny's put a, a several other products in on our store on our website www.lwnfoundation.org mm -hmm. and these are products that come from Dr. Jenny here in town at Age Vital Health and Wellness Center and and she knows what she's doing she's not only a doctor she's she's a com she's a, a chemist and she compounds right on site excellent products Take a look at it. If you need something, we can probably help mm -hmm. you from that aspect, too. And the most important thing, remember to be alert, not anxious. Alert, not anxious. That's very good. So I just want to say, and let's go to some of these. It can be different in people with compromised immune systems than it is in a healthy person. It, it, it can be. And I think anybody can get it if they're in the right spot, I suppose, Anyone can right get it, time. but it's mainly only deadly for older people. 
I think it could be deadly personally for anybody. So this is where we just Mainly need to... Mainly deadly for all Yes, people. I mean, if you're compromised, and then yeah. there's mosquitoes all... Mosquitoes all over top of us. And they're ready to the eat us. Mosquitoes are ready to eat us up. Yeah, I, I already just have like some six of these, bites. These, and I'm going to shout out everybody. I so much appreciate you for joining us this evening. Um, Abigail a Engel. It evolves and it can be different in people with compromised I just read immune it. systems. Oh, you... And so yeah. that's red. So we need to be careful of that. Rachel, we love you too very much. Carolyn Brown, we love you. And Kimberly, we love you too. Um, Amber and Nicole, room. thank you for joining. I know you've got little kids too as well. And so I'm sure that they're going through a difficult time right now. And so we just need to be there for our kids. Mm -hmm. And let them know that it's going to be okay. That we'll have to make some changes in our life. But it's going to be okay in the end. Um, Michael Ferguson, thank you so... Uh, Michelle, excuse me, Ferguson. The clouds are pretty. I must get pictures. Yes, it's beautiful. So prayers for you as well and your family and uh, on the other side of the pond. So she's probably coming from the UK. Um, Got it. I know that in the UK... Okay, there's beauty. <laughs> That in the UK they're coming to a shutdown. I know that we are here too in America. Anybody that's going to try and help contain this so that we can get past it quicker, then we need to follow the guidelines that we're being told. And we'll just have to learn to adapt. And we'll be here for each other to help each other through this. And so if you have resource of information, like we've seen in some of the comments, please share that with us and share this video out to your friends, to your groups. Dang, my, my you, grass allergies are like, it's leaving red marks all over my leg. Like red bumps all over my leg because of, you know, grass being on my leg. Manny is saying yes. He's trying to tell that his son, who has done nothing but work hard all year round, um, that for the GCSE, and that he can't have a prom, and he also missed the shirt signing that they do on the last day of school. Um, friend says they know that as they now all go to different paths in life, it's very hard for them to understand what's going on in the world, and they are confused. And I think the mosquitoes are just waiting for the live stream to end to kill us. <laughs> not I don't only want are the kids confused, but we are too a little bit. So that's why we just need to band together. I'm terrified of mosquitoes because um, malaria and other diseases. I don't want to die. Laura Myers, thank you for joining as well. Richard Fay from, uh, as they say, across the pond. Gigi Dimicino up in Long Island. Thank you so very much. God bless you. Such a wonderful, beautiful, loving person too. And if you want some natural hair products, that's the person to talk about. She's got some natural hair products that, that I really love. I know that, that my sisters use them and she loves them. They think that, that they really are great. I'm Sunset just trying to podcast. bite my rib cage. A mosquito. I might have got bit. Michael hmm. Toy, it is a beautiful sunset. Thank you. Um, Shirley Connolly, love you. Prayers for you. I know you're going through a difficult time. I know this most difficult time. And so just know that we're here for you as well. Um, thank you. Janice, thank you very much. And I'm just going to mention it too as well. My son's in town. How blessed am I? I just, I'm beyond. My son's in town, Sean. I'm going to have him on one of my videos next. And, and so he's a little bit older. He's in his 20s. He's going to be so sharing cool. with us. Yeah, he's going to be sharing with us as well. So we're going to have that broadcast he's coming He's super up. nice and cool. And I, owe, and I owe him a hug. He's, he, I love him. <laughs> Who doesn't love their kids? But uh, I'm so pleased that he's in town. You know, here's a kid that lost his job, most certainly, because he worked in a restaurant, and now he doesn't have a job there. So he's out here. There, there's the blessing. So uh, you're going to end up cutting my own before this is over. I'm not sure what she's meaning with that. Oh, hair. our hair, right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And that's what will happen is, is that we'll just cut our own hair. It, I would cut just, my own hair, but I need a razor money. to do so. so. You know, that's a beautiful thing. I need a, like, size 4 razor to cut my hair because I get it shaved in the back. <laughs> I know. Every time we move, this, this thing's in and out and in and out. And I tell you what, there's no power or anything out here. Right? And as soon as I can figure out a better way to do this and I can do... Ah, lighting and stuff like that. One just bit me on awesome. the finger. Oops. We're, ah. Okay, we'll wrap it up here shortly. Um, Ow. Thank you, everybody. Samuel uh, Sandoval Bully. as well. Uh, Janice Davenport Yop. Ah. And thank you. So good to see you too, Michelle. I know you. she does some great videos, so check Michelle Paris out as well. She's really awesome. I'm being really bullied awesome. by mosquito. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I hadn't seen you for a moment. We appreciate you, okay? And so Harmony did talk prettier. about the young people. So go back, 
re re watch this on the replay. Let us know hashtag live or hashtag replay. If you're on the replay, we love you too. Replay, uh, Joy Willett Zoomers love it. That's great. Um, Dave Childers, thank you very much for the kind words. We appreciate you. That's about where we cut off right yep. there. As where the, how do you keep calm? Okay, Sandy, thank you for joining us. And uh, everybody else, Dave Childers, of course, I mentioned him already. Thank you so very much, everybody. We, we do love you. Uh, there's a recipe I see. Carolyn Brown's got that recipe for two-thirds of a cup of rubbing alcohol, a third a cup of aloe vera ah, gel. Bad. I'm going down. And 18 Yay. drops of essential oils. Bye, guys. Bingo. There you go. That's homemade hand okay. sanitizer. It'll save us some money. And my ankle hurts now. Now it's I'm getting darker. Okay. All right. I got to keep these on so I can read. So thank you, everybody. I'll end with this. Manny said it. He's so awesome. And I just want to personally thank Manny for all of his hard work. He has done an exceptional job on our website. And I am so grateful to him for all of his work. Please check us out there. Let us know what you think. You know, get sign up. Get, and we'll be having a newsletter. And we're also doing this. If you've got some positive quotes, inspirational statements, send those to us. We're going to have a page specifically. Let me just adjust that then. Ah, that's a little better. It's just going in and out. Why is that? I don't know. If you've got some inspirational quotes, I want to put them on a page on a website so that people can go there and have inspirational uh, and motivational quotes to help them if they're feeling a little bit down. You'll get credit for that. We'll put your name there. If you give us permission to do that, we'll go ahead. We'll get that out there, and it'll be a resource for people of positive affirmations, that type of stuff. Uh, so send us that stuff. Sign up on our email, www.lwnfoundation.org. Let us know what you think of the new site. Thank you so much, Manny, for all your work. God bless you. God bless everybody. We love you. It's a beautiful night. There's what's left of the sunset. Have a great, great evening or a great day or whenever you happen to be watching us. Know that we love you and we'll be praying for you. Take care. God bless you. And have a great day. I'll see you, as a matter of fact, tomorrow morning about probably a little bit earlier about 7 40 or 7 20 a.m eastern standard time and we'll be talking about the positive affirmations <laughs> we'll be repeating them i'll do a guided meditation we'll see you then this is stephen smith i am signing off from sarasota florida have an exceptional day bye for now